in the history of this kingdom, a dragon attack has never happened until now. Yuffie and Annie are about to go out, but the prince is also there. So here's two outcomes, I think. Last episode, I proposed that somehow we're going to be able to defeat the dragon or maybe a him away. But then the prince comes in at the last second and kills steals. Or we actually do succeed. And then the prince is left behind. And then you know how there's a dynamic between the prince and Anis? How she has no magic. Yet she's able to just like do everything by herself through magicology. And everybody's like, yo, the prince kind of sucks. Anis should be the next one to rule the throne, right? I think that relationship might get worsened after this dragon raid. Let's see what happens. Turn myself into a monster. How much of this is foreshadowing into the future? This is her only way to use magic. To implant the dragon magic like, yo, this might be some heavy foreshadowing. What if this is like the beginning of the end for, for Anis? Would she get corrupted? Would she become a monster? Too much magic? She said she passed the clinical trials, but what the fuck does that really mean, you know? She's always popping these pills. So is her dad, I think. Magic medicine. Well, Mayak actually, the way that they're saying it in Japanese, I mean, it, the subs are saying it's magic, but it's pretty much just saying drugs. I mean, tea is a drug, coffee is a drug, but are they safe to use? Are you? I don't care if they're illegal. Are they safe to use? So we saw her take this in the beginning, but she just said she goes hyper and loses her sense of reason. And now you can just play it off like, oh, it's just fun times. But I'm getting kind of worried for her. Like... This isn't so fun and happy anymore. We're gonna see some dark side of this anime, maybe? Uh, this is kind of worrying, isn't it? I don't like the way she's laughing. Um. Um. I don't like the way you're talking. Uh, let her cook, I guess, but I'm still... For a second, up until now, it's just been so wholesome and happy. Now it's just like, yo, we're, we're getting some, some darker aspects of this show. The look in her eyes is very concerning. Did she have the same look in episode one when she used it? In episode one, it wasn't really explained like it was now. That she loses all sense of reason and she goes hyper. Well, some sense of reason. Mm. It's just very cool and all, but... I'm getting worried for her, man. Yuffie! Oh, she's using... What was it called? Arkan something? It's her new magic tool. This incantation is too long. Come on. Faster, faster. Oh, explosion. <laughs> I haven't heard that since... Uh, what's that anime name? Oh, fuck, I can't forget... Megumin is in it. I can't even forget the title right now. Pretty cool. So her... She's back to that kind of normal state a little bit from watching her magic, but... That crazy look in her eye after she took the drug. Yeah, this is real magic. It's pretty nuts. But so are you. You are pretty nuts. There's a dragon. From above! This is a pretty big dragon. <laughs> that shouldn't be the normal reaction <laughs> of a girl. <laughs> at first glance at a dragon, she's like blushing. She's like... <gasps> Oh my god, there it is! I'm so glad! It's so beautiful! I mean, like, I get it. She's built Div, but... He's terrified of like, get me the fuck out of here! Yeah, Yuffie's reaction should be the default reaction, but we know that Anis is different. I don't know. I honestly don't want to know. Because... What if she actually does turn into a monster? That was pretty cool. She just called her broom. Come on. You gotta have some kind of trump card, right? This is an actual dragon, girl. Like, come on. What else do you have? <laughs> really? You're just gonna fight it with a sword? I mean, it's not just a sword. It's a mana Oh, it's got a little bit of barrier. Magic barrier? I don't know. Careful. Okay. But one hit and we're done, aren't we? And it's probably... It can probably, like, you know, actually shoot fi fire, too. Uh-oh. It's shooting something. This is bad. Mm, this doesn't look like playing. This looks like some kind of crazy hyper beam. You better dodge this. You better dodge this. Oh. 
The shield, really? The shield can take the hit? I doubt it. Come on. Yeah, yeah that's... And she's done. Someone's got to catch her, right? You can't survive a fall like that. Then again, the durability of the characters in this anime has been ridiculous. They just crash into the wall all the time. Koi, come here. Not enough. Bro, you can't talk all that shit and die now? You just gonna catch her from that height? She's gonna break both her arms. Uh-oh. Use your magic to move faster. Do you have something like that? She does. Maybe you be the one that's gonna pop off. He's Naruto running. <laughs> so cool. But, I mean, maybe we can like fortify. No. No. Slow motion. What's gonna destroy your arm? I guess you can just fortify her body with the mana and it won't break her arms. What? Yuffie just clutched. I shouldn't be surprised because she is the genius magician girl, right? Holy shit, she actually did it. Maybe she can defeat the dragon. Yo, get on the broom, Yuffie. Let's fight. Still up there. I'm surprised it's getting us, giving us time to rest up. Enough. No, stop. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like it when you take that. It's. I don't care if it's legal. Like, there's obvious side effects to this. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that was insane. You would, you, sh you should have died there if Yuffie wasn't there. She doesn't have any regard for her life. She just, I mean, she's a marauder prince that's been established. Because she wants to use magic that bad. You can't just say this is my ninja way when you should have, you could have almost died there if Yuffie wasn't here. And you told Yuffie to stay away. This is her magician way. You know, uh, this isn't the same as my ninja way, but like this kind of ideal, upholding ideals. This has been established in so many like sh shonen series. It still hits the same. Like it hits hard. This is my magician's way. I can't give up. Then you take care of the dragon, Yuffie. I bet Yuffie could do it if she just gains a bit of confidence. Oh. Huh. Her confidence and courage is skyrocketing just to protect Anis. Something's glowing. I think it's just the moonlight, just for the, the ambience. But oh, I can't believe the dragon just letting us have all this time for this emotional moment. But oh my god, I'm kind of tearing up. No, together, both of us, go attack the dragon! Oh? Are you my master? I'm kidding, that's a fate line. Will you come with me? Hell yeah. Okay, now the two of them. That's what you want to accompany. Wow. You know, I can't, I still can't believe the dragon's giving us all this time to bond, but... That hit pretty hard. Damn. They're both in it together. If we're gonna die, let's both die. They're committed. But with Yuffie's magic now, maybe we can do this. I mean, there's no way we can't. Now, I'm just worried about the prince. When is he gonna show up? Oh. Full speed, right? I, uh, I couldn't tell this. Did we cut it? What do we do there? Anis is on the wings? Psych? That's right. Okay, it's behind. Oh, it grew even more! Bro, the action in this enemy actually goes really hard. So far, it's just been just ambience, atmosphere, vibes, dialogues, but it can pop off. Wings are cut! Now it's gonna fall! And it can't do the barrier magic anymore, right? Uh, Yuffie catcher. Nice one. I don't, what I'm most surprised is that the broom is still operating. Because usually the broom just like, you know, just fucks up midway and just dies. Still got one wing. You can still shoot those crazy hyper beams. What? There it is, see? Oh no, it got us! Maybe Yuffie's magic could counter this. Can we retreat in time? What? 
Why, why, why? Are there people behind us? I mean, ugh, we do care about the captain. We can't let them die. What, what then? I, you gotta overcome it. Do you have a magic like that? No. Bro, stop. Maybe she could if you like hugged her from behind and gave her magic and then the sword grew even more and we just pierced it. Ah. She is insane. She is insane. Really, limiter? Okay. Bro, this is looking like a actually from fate uh alter ego excalibur she's bleeding is that the side effects of the drug oh yuffie go help her i don't know give her more mana from behind yes show me then i'll protect you these two are such a good combo excalibur it's gonna cut it. There's no way it doesn't after all of this. I'm not really sure what Yuffie's doing. Is she just offering her like physical support? Like she's gotta be using her own mana to like give it to the mana blade somehow. Come on. Come on. You can cut through this. Make it possible. All these lines, I swear I heard that from Gurren Lagann, maybe. <laughs> Bro, it actually look like a noble phantasm. <laughs> I think it's done, unless there's phase two. The sword is done, there's no way. Now, could you imagine if the dragon gets up right now, and then the prince comes out of nowhere, and then kill steals? There's no way. I hope that we beat the dragon, and then we make the prince jealous, although that's probably not good for interpersonal relationship dynamics. Don't open your eye. It's talking. Visitor. I feel like because the dragon's talking, if we put the magicite in her body, if we implant him, it's gonna be like our like nine tail fox, you know? Our inner hollow. Like, it's gonna like talk to us, you know? It's, it's giving us the dragon core, I think. I don't think this is a blessing, though. I think this is more of a curse. This is what you wish for. But this is a bit different from implanting just the magicite. I think the dragon did something else. Carved into you. May you forever suffer. Bear this curse. See, this is not a blessing. Whenever you fuck around with dragons, yo, even an Elden Ring, if you take a dragon's power, you eventually turn into like a worm. Not a worm, like W-Y-R-M. This is what you wish for, though. Yo, this isn't gonna have a happy ending. This show is not gonna have a happy ending. What an episode. This was the pop-off episode. But again, like, this is not gonna have a happy ending. First four episodes or three episodes, everything was, like, so happy, kind of bright. The vibrance of the anime, the atmosphere, Yuri. I'm like, okay, great. This is gonna be a happy-go-lucky show. But then, this episode, even though we did slay the dragon and we got cursed at the end, but even before that, just taking those drugs, those side effects, something about this show, there's a little bit more darker tones that's being introduced, and I think we're getting baited. I do not have a good feeling about this. Not at all. Get your seatbelts buckled and butt. Let's enjoy the ride. And if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists in my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.